what's up everyone welcome back my name is Leon Epp and this is my channel DIY Beauty on Purpose today we have for you some really exciting DIYs that you're going to love for this Christmas craft I am going to take one of these wood rounds that I get on Amazon and I also photocopied the scripture in the book of Luke where it talks about Jesus's birth I'm going to trace the wood round and then I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to mod podge it to the wood round which will then become an ornament just like you see there on the bottom left corner of the screen i was inspired by this one that i saw on pinterest and i thought i can totally recreate something very similar i give it one coat of mod podge on top as well let it fully dry and now i'm going to use my crop dial to make a hole and thread some of this beautiful buffalo check ribbon from dollar general i'm going to knot it cut off the excess and then move the knot to the back of the ornament then it's time to add some embellishments, not many, but I am going to add some of these greenery picks that I do get on Amazon. But before we do that, I am going to sand down all of the edges with a sanding block just so that they are smooth and close enough to the wood. Using some hot glue, I'm just going to add these little greenery picks and as well as another ribbon into a bow very easily. Just tie it in the center, cut off the excess and hot glue it right to the center. I felt like something was missing, so I'm just going to add some very cute little white berries right underneath the bow, and that way it's just going to add more texture and more character. And that's it for this one. I think it turned out so beautiful. I love that it has the scripture from the book of Luke, and I just love that it's so simple and yet so festive. For this next Christmas craft, I'm actually going to take this thrifted sign that I found at the thrift store. I'm going to remove everything from it, including the canvas that it came with. I'm also going to be removing the middle portion, that wooden part, because at first I thought to keep it, I thought it needed the support, but it really did not need it and it's not going to have a lot of weight to it. So I did remove that part as well. I'm going to give it a good scrub and then I am going to fill in all the little holes where all the staples were at using some wood filler. This is going to give it a smooth surface. So I'm going to put that to the side while it dries. And now I'm going to start working with the nativity scene that I got at the Target dollar spot for I believe it was $3. I'm actually going to remove the little manger from it. I'm going to sand down those edges and then I'm going to stain it using Rust-Oleum chalked glaze in the color brown. And now I'm going to sand down that wood filler all around from the edges. This is so that it is smooth and then we can start adding some color, although it's just white. <laughs> so I'm just going to give it two full coats of Rust-Oleum chalked paint in the linen white and I'm going to do the entire thing. I am now going to add the nativity scene using a combination of E6000 glue as well as some hot glue. This is going to attach it permanently and quickly for me and I'm just going to start adding it all around the inside of the frame. I'm going to add some greenery and some embellishments to the bottom of the frame i'm just going to staple it and just going to start threading it through that staple this is going to add texture color as well as just some festive decor on it and i'm just going to add some greenery picks from amazon that i do get on amazon all the time if you've never visited my amazon store it is always linked down below so check it out when you have some time after you're watching this video i'm going to add some pine cones as well as some red berries to add some color and to finalize i am going to add a nice little silver bell and that's it for this one it's definitely one of my favorites from today it is a huge decor it is beautiful it is fresh and it's so festive for the season For the next Christmas craft, I'm going to take these three pieces of two by fours. They're scrap pieces of wood. One of them is larger than the rest, and they're all going to be for a nativity scene again. This one's going to be a little bit more on the rustic side. So I'm just going to give them one pretty heavy coat of Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the linen white. 
And then I'm going to sand them down pretty heavily because I wanted to have a farmhouse look, just like my inspiration from Pinterest, which is right there on the left hand corner. I loved when I saw this. So using my Cricut, I cut out a nativity scene and I'm just going to place the baby Jesus on the smaller one and then Joseph on the taller one and then Mary on the medium sized one. I didn't have another board to create the star, but I think it turned out super adorable. Such an easy project. Anyone can do this one. For the next Christmas craft, I am going to take this wood round that I do get on Amazon, but you can also find them at Dollar Tree and they're 12 inches. I'm going to make some marks and then I'm going to tape off some on the bottom and some on the top so that we can paint in black. And I am using Waverly Chalk Pen in the ink. This is my inspiration here on the bottom left corner. I'm going to use different colors, but the overall inspiration came from it. I just thought it was beautiful. So again, I'm just going to paint the bottom and the top black and then the middle is going to go in a bright white today's video is in collaboration with this beautiful and talented ladies white sparrow living faith chic 777 diy by design and crafting my best life with lisa we are bringing you tons of christmas inspiration with the real reason for the season which is the birth of jesus christ in the description box i have a link to a playlist where you can find all of their videos get tons of inspiration and of course i hope you love what you see and join their youtube families as well so check it out i use my cricut once again and i just did a nativity scene as well as added the christ the savior is born i added a combination of red and white and you'll see how it's going to turn out once i had everything set i'm just going to place it right in the center it turned out so adorable and then i'm going to add the red letters underneath the nativity scene and then the white letters on the black bottom portion Christmas now it's time to add some greenery picks again these are from amazon i'm just going to hot glue them to the top some of these bigger ones and then some of the darker smaller ones right on top this is going to add some character just so again some festive decor and then i'm going to add a simple bow this is going to be a ticking stripe ribbon that i got i believe it was dollar general and i'm just going to make a very simple bow scrunch it in the middle tie it with some jute string and hot glue it right in the center I added a pine cone just for some festive decor and then some red picks right underneath the bow and then I'm going to add some nautical rope from Dollar Tree just going to hot glue it to the back so that we can hang the wood round and I think this one turned out so adorable I love this one it's such a festive look I love the black and white and I love that it's all about the reason for the season, which is Jesus. On a recent video, I showed you how I decorated my mantle for Christmas for this year. And many of you asked me, where did I get the Christ the Savior sign? And I answered that I made it. So I thought I'd include it in this video because it's appropriate of the theme, but also because I want to show you how I made it. So I took a piece of wood paneling that was 36 inches tall and then I created a design on my Cricut that says Christ the Savior is born. This was huge. I then started stenciling it using the Waverly Chalk Pen in the charcoal tone. Before I stenciled it though, I did paint the board using white paint by Rust-Oleum and I did add very much texture by just adding different brush strokes in different directions. Once I had it done, so I removed the whole thing and you're going to start seeing that it's just looking so beautiful. And then I decided to distress it quite a bit. I wanted it to have a very strong farmhouse look. So I'm going to use my palm sander and I'm going to distress all of the edges as well as the center. I wanted this to be a two piece set. So I found this other board. This is a 36 by 12 inch wood board. This is solid wood. I had it in my garage. I sanded it down and gave it two coats over Stolium Chalk Pen in the linen white. And then I also created a stencil. This one is a very simple one. It's of an evergreen pine tree. I'm just gonna place it right in the center and stencil it the exact same way that I did the Christ the Savior is born. 
I am going to also distress it pretty heavily all around the edges as well as in the center to give it again that farmhouse distressed look that I was looking for. Because this is for me, I distressed it pretty heavily because I really like that look. And then I placed it on the mantle. Now this is not my mantle for this year, but I did want to show you how it is staged. And I just think it's so stunning. It's so large and beautiful. I'm going to take this wash and dry sign that I made such a long time ago. It never sold in my booth, but I never got rid of it because, I mean, why get rid of it? It's such a long piece. It's beautiful. So I'm just going to remove the vinyl from it. I'm going to lightly sand to remove any sticky residue and then also to really lighten up those darker spots from the distress. I'm going to wipe it down really well. And then we're going to start using this Glory to the Newborn King stencil from Essential Stencil. The little Jesus portion, unfortunately, is not going to fit on this board. So we're going to put that one to the side. I'm going to place these stencils one underneath the other, making sure that I spell the phrase correctly. And again, I'm just going to attach it with some masking tape. I'm going to speed it up for you. Of course, this is a pretty large stencil, but it took no time. It was really easy and I really enjoy doing it. I'm going to do the newborn king in the black by Waverly. This is the ink color. And then the little stars I'm going to do in that venation yellow from Rustoleum milk paint. This really finished it off, added some beautiful detail color. And I can't wait to show you. The reveal is so stunning. Look how crisp and beautiful this looks. And remind you, you can use these stencils over and over again. And it's so easy. I'm going to take it outside. I'm just going to spray it with a top coat. This is going to allow everything to be sealed. And of course, this is a porch sign. So I want to make sure that it's going to be safe in the elements. Look how stunning this sign is. I love the colors. That design is beautiful. I love it. For the next Christmas craft, I'm going to take this piece of scrap board. Is a four by, no, it is six by two. And I'm just going to cover some of those holes. This used to be a different project and I just never sold. So I'm just going to reuse it. And I am going to fill in the holes with some wood filler once again. I'm going to do it in all four in the front and the back. Because this one is going to be a double sided sign. Once it was dry we're going to bring in the electric sander. Although you can use a sanding block or just sanding paper if you must. Once I wiped it really, really well, I'm going to paint one side in the Waverly chalk bin in the white. And the other side is going to be in the Waverly chalk bin in the ink. I'm not going to do the sides because I am going to heavily distress each corner and I want it to have a very farmhouse look. This set came with four designs and these are the two designs that I'm going to use. Here's that back side in the ink. I'm just going to give it one pretty heavy coat and then let it dry. Once it was dry, I am going to sand down, as I mentioned, the edges pretty heavily using my electric sander. And I'm going to do that in the front and the back. And of course, I wiped it down really well. And now I'm just going to align the design where I want it and secure it with some masking tape. I'm going to start with the black side and I'm going to stencil it using the Waverly chalk pin in the white. And again, just going to do the tapping, tapping <laughs> technique until it's done. And look how beautiful that looks. And I'm going to do the same thing in the back with the Waverly chalk pin in the ink. And we're just about done. Let me show you how cute these are. I love it. I love anything that is two-sided because you just get more bang for your buck. I love the design. I love the message.
because of course i love that christ is the reason for the season and just the designs of the stencils are just stunning i'm so grateful for this collaboration and i'm so grateful that i was able to bring all this beautiful decor to you there is a playlist down in the description box make sure you check out all the other videos with this great message i'll see you later and have a blessed day bye